Can we try it again? You ready? Can we go in there and try it again now? Here we go, guys. This is gonna work. Just give me a reason. Just a little bit's enough. Yeah. Not broken, but bent. And we can learn to love again. It's Rick, and in our hearts that we're not broken, just bent. And we can learn to love again. Cause nothing is as bad as it seems. Corny, you can do it, Corny. Corny, you can learn to love again. Where'd Cornholio go? Cornholio? Oh no, he left already. <laughs> Corny, what's wrong? What's, what's wrong, buddy? You're not happy with the ladies? Oh, you're not ready, huh? Oh no, buddy, it's okay. You're worried about cursing them, aren't you? No, it doesn't work that way, Corny. You're not a bad, it's not your fault you've had bad luck and love, buddy. It's not your fault, Corny. I'm sorry about, we're not trying to rush you into anything, sir. We're not trying to rush you, okay? Please don't be mean to daddy, okay? You don't have to be mean to daddy, all right, Corny? You don't have to be mean to daddy. Ouch, Corny, you don't have to be mean to me. We got you some ladies for, you don't have to be mean anymore. Why are you doing this to me? Where you, there's ladies next door. Oh God, stop it. Why are you doing this? Stop it, Corny, stop doing that. I'm sorry, ladies. Corny, stop it. Why are you doing this to me? What have I done? Why? What? Oh, man. I'm sorry, buddy. Ladies. I'm sorry about that. Cornholio's been through a lot. I'm just going to tell you. These are things that he might not want you to know. I think that all men and all women, when you meet somebody new, there's things that they don't mind telling you. And there's other things, skeletons, if you will, that they really just keep to themselves. But if you need to know the truth, if you notice Cornholio being a little bit reluctant, a little bit bashful, a little bit un uncertain, just know that Cornholio has had some, um, he's had bad luck in love. He's had bad luck in love, okay? And um, he probably feels like he's maybe being, doing you an in-service, a, a disservice, an injustice by bringing you here, fearing that you too will meet the same fate as some of the other ladies in his life. Or maybe he's trying to protect his heart. Maybe Cornholio is trying to protect his heart. He's been hurt, y'all. Guys, what's going on with Cornholio right now is, is pretty much the same thing that we all have dealt with. When you've been hurt in love, you sometimes put, you begin to guard your heart. And you sometimes put up walls because you never want to feel that hurt again. And Cornholio has had his fair share of hurts. And what he's done is, after this most recent, this tragic incident with, with uh, Marcia, he built another wall around his heart. And today, without warning, we show up and introduce him to two very attractive young ladies and 
he just wasn't ready for that. He wasn't ready for that. And he's not real sure how to explain his feelings because he wants love, we all do. But how many of us can, can admit that we've also shielded ourselves and purposely ran from it by fear of getting hurt? I have. And so things like this take time. We're not gonna rush and force anything to happen overnight, we're not. What'll happen is this, this is real simple. We will leave the ladies in the second stall so they're out of the direct sunlight, they're out of the wind, and we will leave them in here overnight. It's already late afternoon. The sun is about to start going down. It's not that hot. They have food and water, and we will keep them inside here overnight. Let them get used to all the smells of the farm, all the sounds, the noises, the fans and all that we got going on. Tomorrow we'll come out and we'll let them out of the kennel and they'll still stay enclosed in the, um, the 12 by 12 stall, keeping them with food and water, allowing Cornholier to come in and visit if he wants to, but we're not gonna force any of that. And then in a couple of days, I would say by the weekend, we will let these two ladies out and about. We'll put them in the pasture, in our little pasture. Now, as of now, they have access to roam. We don't have anyone fenced in, so they, they can go anywhere they want to. They may choose to go with the chickens into the rafters to roost. They may choose to go with Cornholio inside the pig barn to sleep. But we will let them make up their minds. We're not going to uh, force anything on them. And what we're hoping is that in time, Cornholio will be, begin to uh, learn to love again. And that right there brings me to a song. Right from the start, you were a thief, you stole my heart, and I was your willing victim. I let you see the parts of me that really weren't that pretty And with every word you fixed them Now you've been talking in your sleep Ah, oh, oh, things you never said to me Ah, oh, oh, tell me that you've had enough Of our love, our love, oh of our love just give me a reason just a little bit's enough we're not broken but bent and we can learn to love again it's in the stars it's been written in the scars of our hearts that we're not broken but bent and we can learn to love again I'm sorry I don't understand where all of this is coming from. I thought that we were fine. Your head is running wild again. My dear, we still have everything. And this is all in your mind. You've been having real bad dreams. Oh, oh you used to lie so close to me. Oh, oh but now there's nothing in our bed but empty sheets, oh, 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 just give me a reason, just a little bit's enough, we're not broken but bent, and we can learn to love again, guys, look, It's been a couple of hours later. Oh my gosh, look. Corny has come back on his own to say hi to the ladies. Oh my goodness. Look everybody. Ah, oh, such a handsome fella. 
Just give me a reason. We're not broken but bent. And we can learn to love again.